Welcome back guys, Slime McAnee, and welcome back to the next video in our series of looking at the Steel Faith Overhaul changes for uh, Grimhammer 2. Steel Faith Overhaul, of course. Um, we're going to do this one a slightly bit different than the Green Skin one, mainly because a lot of the high off units, we are doing high offs, of course, uh, a lot of the high off units are not actually available in the custom battle screen, so we have to actually do it in the campaign itself. So slightly different than the green skin one, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it anyway. Um, first up, we're gonna have a look at the campaign mechanics because we're in the campaign, right? So we might as well look at it. Um, I can't see obviously a high level stuff because there's only turn one. Um, but as you can see there, they have a new mechanic. This is a high house, of course, um, that public order affects different things. So campaign line of sight affects public relations, tax rates, uh, holdout times, growth, and all that type of stuff. So it's basically the more public order you have, the better all that stuff's going to be. So that's pretty cool. I quite like that, actually. Um, I do need to change. Uh, bah, bah, I don't know what I think you. Which will allow me to mouse out of the screen. And i got to remember to change that back because I totally forgot last time. <sighs> Thank you. Right. So there's not a lot of new units actually for the um, high offs themselves. There's only like four, really. Uh, let me scroll. There's a lot of changes for existing units, so a lot. Right. Let's go in. Talons of Torcaldia. Here we are. Right. So they are an anti infantry range slash melee unit as a lot of the high off stuff actually is uh what have we got there so the hybrid range melee unit i literally just said that they got martial prowess which of course is the high off buff um the better you're doing the better they are uh they've got assura flank them ability which is a constant buff around him if they're in melee um Constant if they're in melee? Yes. <laughs> if they're in melee, it's constantly on, yes. Uh, which is a plus 5 melee attack, plus uh, 10 speed bonus. Obviously, the allies around us, that's quite good. That's quite good. Uh, they benefit from the scare, the scareman, the spearman skill and tech tree. Very good. Gate guard. We've got to be infantry too, right? You, you would think. Nope. Nope. Okay. 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 Uh, Silver Helms. I'm not seeing gate guard to be honest. I couldn't see them in the um Oh no, that might have been that other unit. Okay, okay. Man, a lot of these are real screwed up. Um Maiden Guard, can we see them then in here? Of Archers, Talons, Shadow Warriors, Sea Guard. Ah, Maiden Guard? No. Sisters. That's a bit of a no then, isn't it? Nope, can't see them in there either. Interesting. So we can only see one of the new units actually in here as well. And that's a different one than the one we can see in Custom Battle. We will jump out and have a look at in Custom Battle shortly. So we can have a look at that. Maiden Guard is a legendary unit. Ah, oh, we don't have the... Has it not here? Gate Guard Garrison. A new building that allows recruitment of gate guard. That's one of the ones we haven't seen, right? Yes, that's literally the one we're looking for. Uh, so that's a new building. Oh, they're right there, you blind person. All right. <laughs> I literally just seen them as I said that. All right, so that's these guys. So they are... An just an infantry unit, yeah, yeah. Uh, bonus versus large on um, weapon strengths. Yep, plus 15. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, melee expert, good range. Oh, because they're another range slash melee, because of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Um, so they've got bolster. No, so they've got Ashura f uh, form ranks, which is that melee buff. There's the bolster. Uh, so that affects allies around them. 10 accuracy, 10 missile damage, 10 armor piercing damage. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, cup of tea, episode two boys. I need them because I'm like drowning a Marin saliva. Ah, this video is just me talking, so yeah, we need that. Uh, Marshall, Par uh, Marshall Paris, which is the same with everybody, and benefits from Sea Guard and Thingy. All right, so Maiden Guard, can we find them then? Maiden Guard is the literary unit, which I'm assuming is only available through like, one of those. Shield against the darkness. 
Yeah, I can't not see them, obviously. So there's obviously going to be a special building that allows um, that to be unlocked or something, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. It's the first time we've done this, of course. It doesn't look like it. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go into uh, buildings. Uh, overall changes, negative replenishment values added to some buildings. Oh, really? Oh, yes. It's only replenishment, though. It's only 1%. I guess by the time you stack them, it's quite substantial. High offs don't have the best uh, replenishment as it is. They're not really a faction that you want to let die. Units are quite expensive, but they are very, very good. Like, the best units in the game are high offs, essentially, for what they do. But they are very expensive, and the replenishment rate is not a lot, so you, you don't want to lose stuff as a high elf. I've never actually played actual high elf, so we need to do that one day too. Uh, gate guard, uh, this new building here. So what is that? Uh, reload time reduction plus five percent for missile infantry, own armies in the province. Ammo for again own armies. Uh, siege, hold at time, gives the garrison uh, gate guard, and also unlocks the recruitment of gate guard. So where would you use those? 190 range, I guess that answers that question. Yeah, because this is the sea guard is standard. Sea guard is so good, man. Well, I mean, all these guys are so good, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I guess just for that extra range, eh? They're actually, melee stats are actually really good as well. 30, 40, and 40. Melee attack, melee defense, and weapon strength, respectively. No charge bonus, so you don't charge them, of course. They are actually a range unit as well. 31 missile damage at 190 range is insane. They are buffed by Sea Guard, so you could actually buff their range as well, right? Um, Ulf one's defender. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's actually no reload time and stuff, not range at all. Charge bonuses, sword masters. I just they've got to have something for range. Missile damage, armor, missile resist. Nothing actually for range. There might be something. I oh, say so all the stuff is going to buff them. Well, spearmen and archers. I guess they count as archers. This dude's been changed as well. I'll probably should spoil it, right? <laughs> we'll have a look at this guy in a minute. I'm just seeing if there's anything that like increases their range or whatever. You push them out to like 200 range. It's crazy. Uh, Economy-wise, uh, values compared to vanilla. 100% um, obviously is vanilla. Uh, buildings are at 150. Raiding is at 100. Sacking is at 50. So obviously you're not going to be sacking very much. Uh, looting is at 50 as well. Raising is at 20. post battle loot is at 20%. Wow, really low. Uh, event special thingies is the same at a hundred percent like a new army stance noble prestige which gives you four influence per turn campaign movement range 50 percent to adopt it plus four upkeep for the, the um, army though well for the whole army it's faction wide casual replenishment raise at 15 percent though and ambush uh defense chances at 10 percent nothing else changed i don't think as far as that stuff there goes no 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 all right let's jump into the other screen the custom battle screen we can have a look at the changes to the etch units themselves i don't think there's anything else i've missed Oh, um, four new faction-wide abilities for all units. Available on all Asura army rolls, excluding monsters and characters. That means all these guys. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to... Those guys all have that as well. Oh, interesting. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to go into a custom battle. Uh, grant different buffs of up to two allied nearby units. Type of buff depends on the unit roll. Constant tactics include... Trample them, take aim, flank them, form ranks. Hmm, okay, we're going to have to go into a custom battle and have a look at that. We might do that first, actually. Let's do that. Alright, so I'm not actually seeing the different um, formations and stuff that apparently we can see, which is weird, but okay. So that's just standard. Um, but I thought we'd have a look at these new units anyway while we're in here. Um, I did find those ones as well. Um, so this is only two of the three. You change back things. So we've got the Maiden Guard and we've got the Talons. We don't have the Gate Guard. Um, I can't seem to see them in custom battles. So I may find them later, but for now we can't. 
Oh yeah, they're definitely high offs, aren't they? Oops, wrong button. No. Very cool though. Like elves, high offs are always like what you'd expect fantasy elves to be, right? I guess wood elves to a degree as well. But when you think of elves, you kind of think of high elves, not wood elves necessarily. Unless you're doing some Lord of the Rings styles. Those are pretty cool though. That's the Maiden Guard. No, that's the Talons of Torcalada. Torcalada? I'm probably butchering that. That's nothing unusual. But no, I like that. I like both those units. That's cool. And now they're facing the wrong way. Nice. Let me get them face the other way. Thanks. Beautiful. Alright. Let's jump out. Um, let's have a look at all these changes, shall we? There's a lot, like I said. Uh, where are we? Go back that way, Snipe. That's way more than what there was for the green skins. So bear with us. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Let's start. Let's clear that if we can. Thank you. Princess. All right, princess. Where have we got changes? Given the bleed contact effect on Millie when she's on a great eagle. Oh yes, so what does bleed do? Uh, bleed deals four damage to five entities in a unit per second. So if you're hitting a unit that's got 100 models, five of them will be bleeding for four damage every second. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, she's also got Sunder Armor if she's on a Star Dragon. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I assume he's the same. What? Golden Shield? This unit has a shield and will block 70% of all small arms missile fire hitting it from the front. Bronze is 35, silver is 55, 70%. That's crazy. It's not listed in here, but that's absolutely crazy. Uh, right, sorry, it bleed effect on the Great Eagle, yes. Um, Sunder Armor on Star Dragon, yes. Oh, he loses a shield, though. Given indomitable ability. Indomitable. Ah, oh, it's just a buff. Okay. It's like Foe Seeker. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Alistair the White Lion. You can take him. I just noticed this before when I was just doing the thing. Um, no, apparently you can't. I thought I had him as a lord and as a um, hero, but no, apparently not. Alright, Alistair the White Lion added to multiplier. Nice, thanks. Because he's not actually he's not actually a literary lord or anything, is he? No. That's funny. Alright, so he's got bleed on Great Eagle as well. Very good. Sunder Armour on Star Dragon. Makes total sense. He's got Martial Mastery. Not that one. Uh... Not seeing it, mate. Take him off the dragon. There you go. Uh, so is that any reason I'm foot? Must be. No, he's got it still there. Loses it once he's on the dragons. Okay. So martial mist mastery mystery. Uh, so hit points. Oh, that's when it's disabled. Sorry. Uh, so it's constant disabled if he's below fifty percent. Uh, affects twelve melee defense, twelve melee attack. That's just for him though. It's not a buff. So it's just for what's well, a buff for him, but not an uh, army wide buff. Uh, immune to psychology, strong vigor. Strong vigor we talked about last time um, in the green skin one. Uh, for those who don't know, vigor is basically you start a battle. 100% uh, Vigor, so what, all your stats are at 100%. As your Vigor drops, your stats drop pretty much along with it, down to a certain point. Obviously, you can't go to zero, but they drop uh, effectively. There's different stages of Vigor. Um, strong Vigor, Perfect Vigor. There's, I think there's another one as well, which is below Strong Vigor. Um, but Strong Vigor, obviously, your Vigor lasts longer. Uh, perfect Vigor means your Vigor doesn't drop at all, so you're still at 100% battle capacity throughout the whole battle. Uh, strong is obviously it lasts a long time, and I do believe there's another one as well. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, immune... T uh, why is on foot? Yeah, does say that. Uh, stand your ground. Of course, the standard buffs that a lot of people have. Right, Aletha Nah. The one high off campaign that we've actually done. I really enjoyed his campaign too. It was really fun. Uh, so he's immune to psychology. God, he's got a lot of buffs. Uh, immune to psychology. Yep, nice. Uh, so he's got stalk, uh, which means he can... That one? Yes. 
No, yes, yes. Yes, snipers can move. Yes, ah, so stalk can remain hidden. Uh, yep. Oh, he's always got those. All nice. Can remain hidden while in enemy territory. In any terrain, sorry, any terrain. Uh, dreadful accuracy. Which is this buff from self. 25 accuracy, 25 reload skill, minus 50% speed though. Gain snipe, even though he does have snipe naturally anyway. Uh, and he's unstoppable. Nice, 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 nice. Tyrion, Tyrion, my lord. He has been given a flaming attacks, he sure has. Uh, Curse of Arnerian. No, he's always got that, it's just been changed. Okay, so now it, it heals him. Oh, nice. Now replenishes hit points of combatant. Yeah, so all the rest of the buffs are the same. Gives him perfect vigor. I don't know if like if he gets low on vigor and then pops that because now he's got perfect vigor whether it replenishes his vigor again or whether he drops back to the normal state after that runs out I'm not 100 percent sure it's constant anyway and what am I talking about it's constant so he's got perfect vigor anyway um he's unbreakable uh, which means he can't be broken obviously uh weapon damage minus 25 melee defense so that's crazy 25 piercing damage this is a really good melee lord eh? yeah uh given martial mastery it was just the same as the other guys. So that actually, that 12 makes up for a lot of that 25, obviously half of it, or roughly half of it. Uh, and I mean to psychology as well. Nice. So his brother, Teclis, 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 or whatever. So he's the melee dude. He's the wizard, as far as the two brothers go. Uh, so he's been given magical attacks. Makes sense. Uh, magic bond ability. Okay. Fuck it, doom. God, this guy's got so much stuff. Kindle flame is that normal? Yep, looks like it is. Ah, uh, minus twenty five percent miscast chance. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, oh, so it's basically a arcane conjure type ability that gets by default. That's pretty cool. Uh, sword of Teclis now improves power recharge rate, increases power reserves. Okay, cool. Illyrian, which is one of the newer lords for the house. She's got magic bond as well, so same thing. Yep, nice. Okay, mastery again, same thing. Bleed when she's on a great eagle, same thing as the other guy. She's got magical text, although it looks like she's already had magical text. Presence of the Ever Queen is a buff, I'm guessing. Yes. Which gives as uh, affects allies as well, so it's a an army buff. Uh flame resistance and vigor. Tempest and vigor is really good, man. Really good. Uh, given all law of life spells. Oh, nice. So she's got all the law of life, plus she's got all these other spells as well. Wow, crazy. All right, noble. Set. Noble is a hero, right? Yes. So he's been. He's got bleed on Great Eagle as well. Uh, Cavalry Bane went on foot. Which is. Not seeing it, mate. Carry Bane, contact effect on foot. Oh, that. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Minus 75% acceleration, minus 25% charge bonus. This acceleration is crazy. Um, oh, when he's on his steed as well. Not when he's on the eagles and stuff. No, he loses it when he's on there. Okay, interesting. Uh, obviously, he's got bleed if he's on the eagle. Uh, and bolster defense ability, which I think we've looked at as well. Expert charge defense. Uh, this is a buff for guys around him as well. Uh, Melee defense, expert charge defense. Nice. Maiden of the Ever Queen. Which obviously we go hand in hand. She's just been giving one difference, which is a banish on contact. Hang on, does she get the same? No, there we go. Uh, so this is on her range damage, not on her melee. Um, so she can shoot somebody for minus 10 magic resist, minus 10 physical resist, and minus 10 mischance cast. Given the fact that she actually does magic damage, if you hit somebody with that, the second arrow is going to do 10% more damage. Not exactly, but effectively. As long as they had missile resist to begin with, I suppose. Yep. Nice. Uh, mages. All laws. So we won't look at all those because they're all the same. Uh, given magic attacks and they've been given magic bond, which was the miscast chance one. Yeah. Oh, the casting one. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. 
Let's start the Lords and the Heroes. Now we're going to jump down into the actual infantry itself. How's our audio levels? Because last time I picked the cruises out of it. I don't know what that word was supposed to be. I was trying not to be sweary, but <laughs> I kind of got stuck halfway between two different words. Right, Spearman. Let's go. Spearmen have been given a shield block chance increased from 65 to 65% from 55. Sure hands. Beautiful. Uh, models still the same by the looks of that. Uh, they've been given a shore from ranks. Oh, so here's all the abilities that we were actually trying to look at from before. This is constant buffs around and plus five physical resist, plus five melee resist. Now, the question I have is does that stack? And we're going to go find out right now, right this very second, while we think about it. Because if that stacks, you get four of them, it's 20%, um, it's 20 damage resistance or whatever. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So what do we get? Base is 5% physical. It will be done. Oh, it's not that big of a range though, is it? But those two should be buffing each other if that's the case. Nah, it doesn't stack. Okay. Uh, we'll start the battle just in case, but... Orders received. So it's only going to affect ones that don't already have it. Understood. Just double check. No, okay, so it doesn't stack. Alright, good to know. Good to know, good to know. Thank you. Alright, so the Psychons of Malap... Mathlan? Mathlan. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way. Uh, which is the Spear Regiment of Renown. Those dudes have been given Golden Shields. It just looks so pretty, the Golden Shields, man. 70% block chance. That's insane. And they also have the Ashura buff as well. Nice. Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. Uh, White Lions. Man, White Lions in um, Warhammer Online was so much fun. It was so much fun to play. Uh, Sunder Armor. Oh, yes, he does. Nice. Uh, he's got strong vigor as well. Of course, we've talked about vigor already. Uh, a mutant psychology as well. Uh, he's got flank the mobility. Also, his is actually. I wonder if his will stack with the other ones, right? Yeah, those two are stacked together because they're different. Hmm. So you'd have to. You'd, yeah, you have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure you get different dudes to buff each other. Uh, melee attack, melee speed. Ah, uh, just speed, sorry. Melee speed, what the heck is it? Uh, attack speed, that would be, yeah. Now, so melee attack plus 5, speed is 10%. Very, very good. Um, number of models changed from 80 to 100. I'm seeing 60, so those numbers are not right. Just the same way they were not right with the Greenskins. That's fine, that's fine. The Pure Main Company, which is the Regiment of Renown for these guys. Uh, strong Vigor, Unbreakable, very good. Flank them as well, again with the increased size, but it's not. These guys have wards, so, ah, they have guardians, sorry, as well. I think that's default, though. All right, Swordmasters of Hoeth, Hoeth, which we have actually used. Um, they've got Martial Mastery, which is that one, yes. Um, so that's a buff for them, 12 melee defense, 8 melee attack, because you know these guys need buffs and stuff, yeah. Uh, I'm used to Psychology as well, they've been given Discipline Ability, which must be that one, nope, nope, nope. Oop, discipline. <laughs> the unit does not suffer leadership penalty when the Lord dies. It can also rally after routing more often. It's got 85 leadership anyway. How often is that unit going to route? But that's actually pre that's actually pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, Reroute the Hoeth buff, that one. Gives melee attack, weapon damage, and vigor buffs now. So we've got 25. This is a constant buff for him. 25 armor piercing damage, uh, 25 melee attack, 25% weapon damage, 25% vigor. Again, very good buff. It's a, I mean, these units are all very, very good. Like, crazy good. Um, it should reflect their mobility as well. Again, with a model number increase is wrong according to these notes. Right, Phoenix Guard, next up. I don't think we ever got to Phoenix Guard in the Elise in our campaign, but we've fought against them enough. Crazy good bloody um, unit. Crazy good. Uh, so they've got a Mutant Psychology. Your wards have a 10% expert charge. Guys, they're absolutely insane. Uh, so they've got Cal Cavalry Bane effect as well. Oh, very good. Uh, Aura of Dread, which is a constant buff, minus 10%. This is a debuff, sorry, to the enemy units. Uh, only 50 meter rage. It's only going to be the unit they're attacking or if another unit's attacking them. 
It's not going to be like a round and a big area or anything, but still. Uh, minus 10% weapon damage, minus 10% arm piercing damage, and minus 5 melee. Very good. Uh, they've also got Witness Destiny, so this is a buff for himself. 10 melee defense, 10 leadership, and 10 damage resistance. Because, you know, that's what they need, more bloody resistance. Uh, Ashura ranks, yep, nice. And again, with the unit size, but it hasn't changed. Keep of the Flames, which is the Regiment of Renown version of that one. Um, so they've got all the same buffs, except they've got more dudes. And they're better. Just, yeah, they're just better. Oh, 100 weapon strength, man. Look at that freaking damage. Is that normal? That can't be normal. 100 armor piercing damage. Good lord, that's crazy. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> right, archers. Just archers. Uh, archers. Right. So they have been given uh, a take aim ability, which is a constant buff around him. Again, 10% accuracy, 5 reload skill. That's the only thing that's changed to them. Um, so the light arrow archers, which is the next level up, have been renamed to heavy arrowheads. Cool. Uh, they've also been given arm piercing damage coming in at 27, and they've also been given the assure attack aim ability. And obviously, well, that's not that big of a buff or whatever. Go watch our snitch campaign and see how much of a difference changing your range units to armor piercing range units makes. Oh god, it's such a big difference. It's, it's, it's such a big difference. If you, yeah, I say go watch that campaign if you don't think it is. Uh, Lotharan Seaguard. Standard. Yep, standard. Um, then we're given a bonus versus large on their missile, which is how much? Extra 10. Oh, dude, that's so good. Takes them up to like 39, 37, sorry, damage against large on range. Crazy. Uh, they also have anti large melee as well, because, you know, whatever. <laughs> the thing with high ass, right? I'm, I'm like banging on high ass, even though I'm doing a video about them, but I'm, the thing with high ass, right? You can't shoot the bastards because they're all freaking dodge and dodge this and dodge that. They've got bloody shields and they're golden shields, right? You can't freaking melee them because their melee dudes are so freaking insanely good that they just destroy you. You can't cavalry charge them because their freaking range guys are all anti large. It's ridiculous. <laughs> God, how high else? <sighs> yep. You don't beat high in a one on one battle. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, the Storm Riders, Regiment of Renown. Nice. Oh god, I've got too many dudes. Uh, settings. Custom. Give me millions of dollars. Thank you, sirs. What do you mean I can't still? Oh, my army's too big. Is that the problem? Yeah, okay. Fine. Right. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Storm Riders, take cover! Uh... Nope. Nope. Charge defense, physical resist, missile resist, causes. Cause fear? Because why not? <laughs> That's normal. It's not even a, a, a thingy buff. It's not even a steel face buff. Crazy. Uh, I can't see take cover though. Storm Riders? This is Storm Riders, yeah, for sure. I can see. Oh, it's there. Okay. Sorry, I thought that was Thunder Armor. Uh, so minus five leadership, minus five missile resistance. You're going to say that's not much of a buff, but minus five leadership stacks, mate. Pretty good, pretty good. So they got take cover and they got their sure of length and ability as well. Same as everybody else. Uh, sea guard with shields. So we're going backwards. Um, they here be given bonus fish large on their missiles as well. And they've also been given the take aim. Sorry, let's go. Um, oh, I'm on large armies. Oh, take off unit caps. That'll be the problem. Yeah. That will be the problem. Right, back to the end. Uh, Shadow Warriors. Shadow Warriors are very fun. So what have they got? So they have been given armor piercing to their weapon strength. Oh, yes. Crazy. 45 armor piercing damage on a range unit. Let's go. Uh, got Strong Vigor as well. Very good. Dreaded Accuracy. Which is a constant, no, it's a buff for them, not constant, the last 30 seconds. Uh, got 25 accuracy, 25 reload, minus 50% speed so they can't run. They can snipe, which means they can shoot uh, without being revealed. And they're unstoppable as well, nice. Uh, they've also been given a sure attack aim ability, very good. Alethanar, of course, very, very fun campaign. Uh, the Grey, which is the Regiment of Renown version of them, yep. 
So they've been given uh, piercing as well. Very good. They've got strong vigor to go along with them. Pretty accuracy. Shadow blades. Shadow blades. Shadow blades. Uh, this is a melee buff. So 25 melee attack, 25% vigor, uh, minus 100% range. So you're going to use it when you're in melee. It uh, can cause fear and expert charge defense. That's pretty cool. I mean, they're, they're very good melee as well. Like 45, 32, 45. That's a range unit, remember? Crazy. I guess, mm, I guess none of the high elf units are really range or melee specific. They do both, right? Uh, Shadow Walkers. Uh, where are we? Well, there's a gate guard there. Oh, you dork. Sure is. Why can't I see Shadow Walkers? Do I need to be a lethal nah for Shadow Walkers? That's Shadow Warriors. It's slightly different. Maybe. Um, Aleth Anar is... Nope. I don't know why I went to that one. Uh, oh, no, I want to sing it. Nagaroth. Sisters of Avalon. Shadow Walkers. Nice. Nice. I didn't realise they were specific to just them. I thought they were just... You know, I thought they were everybody. Okay. Uh, so they've got armor piercing damage as well. No, sorry. They already had armor piercing damage. Uh, they've been given strong vigor. They've been given unstoppable. Can't seem to see. Are they? Um, they've been given shadow blades. Just that melee buff that the other guys got, and they've been given the flank mobility as well. I feel like the melee damage and stuff is a lot higher than it is in the base campaign. Look how much damage they do, man. They're absolutely crazy. Aletha Nar as well. Obviously. Oh yeah, I didn't realise they were specific to Nagarothi. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, dude, that campaign is so much fun. I, I kind of want to do it again. Right, Sisters of Avalon. Thank you. These are also, also very good. I, the high off units are so good, man. Like, they really are. Like, Metapsychology. Sorry. Metapsychology. They've been given uh, Banish Contact on Melee. Not seeing it on... Oh, no. On Range. I must have damage. Sorry. Yeah, I read that wrong. Uh, so, it's the Magic Debuff one. Again, you know, they do Magic Damage, Debuffing Magic. I don't think you can go negative. It'd be crazy if you could. It's also have Physical Resist as well. So, that'll help your other units... Uh, smash them. Uh, the models have been changed as well. Uh, the Regiment of Renown version of them. Read Psychology. Banish as well. God, look how much damage they do. 71 at 200 range. Oh, armor piercing range damage, mate. Come on now. That's crazy, man. Uh, they're going Martial Mastery. Which is a buff for their melee. Melee's pretty good too. 37, 30, and 40. God. These numbers just seem crazy high. Like, they really do. Um, they're going to take aim ability as well. I didn't know they could cast spells. Apparently they can. Alright. Uh, Alderin Remus. That's the archer version. Where's the normal version? There, sorry. So they have been given a bonus versus large. 32 with a 15 versus large. Well, oh, makes them a really good cheap cavalry. <laughs> I'm like jealous. All of my, all my cavalry that I've been playing with lately has been garbage, man. Um, that's really good. Uh, they've been given a sure trample them ability. This is their first chance. Look at this. So a 10% charge bonus. And, oh, sorry, a 10 charge bonus and 10% acceleration bonus. Nice. Uh, silver Helms. Oh, that's Silver Helms with swords, mate. Oh, yeah. They changed the name of the second one. Okay. So, unit reworked now. It's equipped with a shield and sword. Sure. Um, and they've been given the trample ability as well. So, I don't... Mm, they're still the bone... Oh, they're, no, no. So, they're bonus versus, uh, they're versus infantry now. And these are versus large. No, they're an armor piercing unit now. So, they have been renamed Silverhelm Lancers. Even though this is... Oh, hang on. Oh, how, how many are they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So swords and then lances. Oh, yeah, yeah. So why are the lances not anti-large? You'd think they would be. Uh, so they've been given armor piercing damage, which is good as well. 
uh, and they've got the trample of their ability as well. Same with the chariot. The only change to them is I've been given the um, trample of ability. Dragon princes never got up to them. Um, but a very, very good K, of course. Very good. 100 damage, mate. Freaking armor piercing, 100 damage. Golden shielded. Are you crazy right now? Um, so they've been given armor piercing damage, as we just see, 100 damage. Uh, immune psychology. They've been given dragon prowess. Which is a constant buff for them if they're a melee, uh, team melee attack, 10 leadership, and strong vigor. God almighty. Uh, Ashura trample them ability as well. Uh, their models have been increased, although that doesn't look like it in that case. So that is, and then we want the Regiment of Renown version. Oh, God, that just looks so painful. <laughs> so they've been given Devastating Charge. Uh, don't seem to... S oh, what does it do? The charge of this unit leaves none alive. Okay. So is that just an extra charge bonus or something? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, armor piercing damage as well. 100 armor piercing damage. You're crazy, man. Uh, dragon prowess as well. Searing flame contact effect, which is that one, which is the same as the other, the bleed one. Uh, one damage to a maximum of five entities, plus it's a minus 10 melee attack, minus 10 armor, 10% melee attack, that is. Uh, and sure, trample them as well. 23 models. God damn, they just look so. Look, look at those stats. Are you crazy? 118 golden shielded cavalry. So you can't shoot them. Uh, 85 leadership. You can't break them. Their speed is 90. You cannot outrun them because it's damn fast. Uh, their melee attack eh, is not amazing, but it's still high at 48. Flame attacks as well. Melee defense is quite low, though, at 36. Uh, weapon strength coming in at 100 with a charge bonus of 80. Wow. Although that's going to buff their melee defense up to 48. That's not bad. And that's going to give them a 56. 66 melee attack with buffs running. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. They've also got fire resist at 50% and physical resist at 20. Oh my god, they sound so strong. Oh, Jesus. All right, Reavers. Let's go. What do you got? Bonus versus large. Oh, on anti large on the range. On skirmish curve. Oh, mate. 44 as well at 160 range. 44 armor piercing plus 12 bonus versus large. Crazy. Oh, it's just crazy, man. Uh, they've got the take aim ability as well. So the original of renown version of them. Bonus versus large on the missile with shield breaker. Because, you know, just in case the other guys have shields. 57 anti large. Wow. Ashura as well. Cheapest. Uh, and the chariots been given the sure take aim ability as well. Man, it's... Dude, <laughs> this unit is so crazy. Right, great eagles. Oh, sorry, hang on. Yeah, no, great eagles, great eagles. Um, given the bleed on contact. Oh, nice. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, there's only models change two, th so there's three great eagles, not just one. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. That That's actually a massive buff. It obviously triples their damage and stuff like that. That's crazy. Uh, claw catapult. No other changes to the thing, so apparently not. Uh, claw catapult. Uh, increased multi-shape round number of projectiles. Okay, so we don't know what that is. Uh, well, we know what it is, but we don't know how much it is. No, we don't know how much it is, unfortunately. Don't know how many things it actually shoots. Ah, oh, no, back to the dragons. Uh, Moon Dragon has been given Dragon's Breath. No, sorry. His Breath has been given a Banish Contact Effect. I can't see it, but it's apparently it's on that. Interesting. Okay. And he's Sunder Armor. He's been given Sunder Armor. He sure has been. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I think that's actually everything, I think. It is? Oh, we got through that way faster than I was expecting. Dude, these guys are crazy. Um, I want to see how much thingies that fires. Is there anything else we want to see? Oh, we can see those dudes that we couldn't find. Yeah, you. Give me some of those things. Uh, give me, 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 give me a couple of those. And a lord. Cool. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not them, because they got Stork. <laughs> I'm going to be able to see them. Uh, da, 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 da. Who doesn't have Stork? Or Vanguard? Oh, I mean, all these guys got Vanguard. They're freaking... They're freaking beast men, mate. They're beast men. All right, that'll do. Uh, what am I missing? You must have a Lord. I, see, look. I, yeah, this is what happened last time. See? You've been getting here. Huh? 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 <laughs> he doesn't count, though. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. It didn't actually take us as long as I thought. Actually, I just looked at the time. It's taken us yeah, about the same. Okay. Um, I'll have a few more cuts in this one, though, that we want to take some bits and pieces out. Nice. Yeah, I want to have a look at this um, thing, how many like projectiles it actually fires as well. This is really the only reason we're coming here. Oh, I have to have a look at these. Uh, so that's on multi-shot. Yeah, let's just stick them on multi-shot. Let's have a look at these dudes before we start the battle. Yeek. Oh, dude, those guys are cool. Yeah, they look cool. I like them. I, I mean, I like the high off look. It's, it's awesome. It's really, it's very regal, isn't it? Right, how many things are we shooting here, boys? None, apparently. When you're ready. Uh, that appears to be about double. You shoot that one. Split them so I can see. That's a lot more than double, eh? Dude, it's like a um, scatter shot type thing. God, he's wrecking that unit. Oh, is he shooting it as well? Maybe. Hang on. Oh, there's the three dragons too. I mean, the three eagles. How are you? Oh, it's so cool. Charge, boys. Charge, lads. Oh, some, some dwellers below. Let's go. Dragons. More dragons. Ain't we one? Nice. Beautiful. Alright, let's get in here and have a look at this, shall we? Oh, we need a screenshot too, mate. Yeah, yeah that's good. Whew. Oh, that's going to be the wrong way. Got to go this way. Do we? Nah. Nah, we're fine. Whether that oh that shot there looks cool. Come on, dragon. I might get on the screen. Oh, more like that. More like that slight. Yeah, good, 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 good. Nice. Beautiful. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap us up for this episode. That's gonna wrap us up for high elf steel faith overhaul changes. I'm lying as li as always. God damn it. <laughs> right. I did this last time too, I skipped it. Right, so the changes that came out was the last patch, obviously Shadow and the Blade DLC. Uh, Dragon Prince's cost has been reduced by 100. Silver Helm's 10% extra health. Uh, the Shieldless version changed to Sword and Shield, which we've already seen. Uh, Techless campaign in effect. Incoming nerf replaced with minus 2 global recruitment slots. Minus 10% upkeep for Shadow Masters. Sorry, that's been replaced. The minus 10% upkeep has been replaced with the 10% ward save for Shadow Masters. Uh, the court level 2 building now provides plus 1 global, uh, global recruitment. Tyrion campaign effects plus 1 siege holdout time replaced with plus 5 melee defense for all units. And the chariot has been. Weapon accuracy has increased by 20%. The reload buff. Reload time buffed by 15%. Nice, so it shoots faster and it's more accurate. Sounds good. That's all the changes that happened in the latest patch. Awesome. All right, guys. This will wrap us up for Steel Faith Overhaul High Elves Changes Edition. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you didn't, remember to hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you next time.